<coughs> so let us enter into a very colorful topic we are going to discuss the color in the complex compounds now so understand there are two reasons of the colors like there are two explanations of the colors in the complex compound one is charge transfer when will you have charge transfer simple trick when you have a d0 configuration in that case you can get charge transfer otherwise the second reason will come and the second reason is known as d d transition so understand d0 configuration where you will find very specific examples are there where we are going to get d0 configurations those are mno4 minus cr2 o7 2 minus and cr04 2 minus why mno4 minus mn is in plus 7 manganese has s2 d5 kind of a configuration atomic number 25 you can use the same trick s2 d5 so when uh, seven electrons plus seven is there so seven electrons are apparently gone not really but apparently gone so there is no electron left here so we have a d0 configuration same way chromium have s plus d total six electrons in the last shell those are also gone so when you have d0 configuration in such a case still if they are colored the color is due to charge transfer from where to where understand charge transfer in the form of electron only protons don't get transferred in chemistry we don't hear protons getting transferred in chemistry from one species to the other what transfers is the electron electron is the charge for us so understand here if i have a d0 configuration if i don't have any electron in my d so how can i transfer the electron that means all i can do is accept electron so this charge transfer is from ligand to metal charge transfer or ligand to metal electron transfer why ligand to metal because your metal has d0 configuration he does not have any electron to transfer so he will just accept the electron from the ligand so this was about the charge transfer second reason very beautiful reason is there it is dd transition for example this is the configuration we get for titanium 3 plus so scandium titanium scandium is 21 titanium is 22 again the same shortcut i can use s2 d2 atomic number 22 s2 d2 so 3 plus 2 s electrons will go then 1 d electron will go d1 configuration will come like this so it shows purple color why it shows purple color i will tell you in the aqueous medium that means ti h2o whole 6 3 plus shows purple color why this accept the light that means light comes here or photons is photon is being absorbed of h new energy let us say and this electron jumps from t to g to e g so if the electron is jumping from t to g to e g how much is the energy required we will say delta o let us say because it's a coordination number six complex so delta o splitting energy for octahedral complex so in that case the photon it is absorbing should have the energy equal to delta o so i use that i apply planck's quantum theory here that delta o will be equal to sc by lambda that is the energy of the photon is equal to sh into nu understand this lambda is the absorbed wavelength absorbed this frequency is the absorbed frequency so understand this thing clearly that delta o is equal to sc by lambda absorbed but if i absorb a specific color then the color I will show will be opposite to that color or complementary to that color. So understand observed wavelength or observed color is complementary to the absorbed color. That means lambda absorbed and lambda observed. The color you see of the complex is opposite of the color which is being absorbed. For example, right now if you see the shirt here blue in color, this area blue in color, it means red color would have got absorbed opposite complementary color sir how to remember those color for that we have this color wagon wheel this you can remember it's very simple to draw draw a circle cut like this and make a single cut here then don't write v i b g y o r write v b g y o r it gives an approximate answer for the neat examination so what you can do here simple for example c o c l n h 3 whole 5 plus is violet in color the color we observe is violet so which color would be absorbed simple if you are able to observe violet color that means yellow color complementary yellow color would have got absorbed here so this answer becomes yellow 
it's a approximate idea like for example if blue color is there then orange red something will come green color is there red violet something will come so approximate coloration it will give us so understand here sometimes exact also it can give like violet and yellow so we understand if violet absorbed yellow comes if green or blue absorbed orange or red will come if red violet will be absorbed green yellow will come so this kind of complementary coloration you can get from here now question arises if i need to actually compare quantitatively what is the lambda absorbed order then i would need the order of delta so delta depends upon what delta number one depends upon charge more charge more will be the crystal field splitting energy so more charge for example feh2 whole 6 3 plus has more charge than 2 plus so his delta will be more so if his delta is more lambda absorbed will be lesser here so lambda absorbed first versus second if i do lambda absorbed in this case we can see delta is more so lambda absorbed will be less just opposite it will go delta is proportional opposite to lambda absorbed similarly 5d element has more delta as compared to 4d more than 3d so ptcl42 minus and pdcl42 minus both are plus 2 plus 2 so there is no difference in the oxidation state so i will just say platinum is a 5d element and palladium is a 4d element so bhaiya 5d element will have more splitting energy than 4d element so the first thing charge second thing 5d 4d 3d square planar has more splitting energy than octahedral has more splitting energy than tetrahedral in fact i can give you the exact value also that delta sp is 1.3 times of delta o that means it is almost 1.3 times more than delta o and delta t is 4 by 9 times of delta o that means delta t is lesser than delta o it's a very important relation so delta t is lesser than delta o so understand here delta sp is more than delta o is more than delta t example i am taking here ni nh3 whole 4 2 plus and ni h2o whole 4 2 plus now which one is what very simple trick i can use here see nickel is in plus 2 here nickel is in plus 2 here also and nickel plus 2 is d8 now in this case d8 with the sfl already i have told you dsp2 here nickel d8 with wfl because water is a weak field ligand so it is going to be sp3 so this trick i can use here also i can say it is a square planar i can say this is tetrahedral so square planar more than tetrahedral next field of ligand fourth part understand chemistry is not about knowing the factor everyone any, any person a b c x y z can know the factors here you just have to read the books for it what is real chemistry is knowing the order of which factor has to be applied when so i'm telling you the order only okay, yeah, one and two are equally important then after that if one and two clash then only check third if third also clash then only check fourth do not check the field of ligand if the charge is different if the charge is different charge will give the answer so what does it mean it means that even if i write nh3 here then also he can win that means if the charge is more that means you don't have to check the field of the ligand even though he's a strong field ligand he will not have more delta because fe has more charge so understand chemistry is about knowing the right order at the right place next i will go field of the ligand means what for example no2 is a stronger ligand than nh3 it's an information that you should know i'm telling you right now no2 is stronger than nh3 as a ligand now if i compare ni no2 whole 6 4 minus and ni nh3 whole 6 2 plus then out of these two which will have more delta delta 1 will be more or delta 2 let us understand nickel nickel both are in the same oxidation state this is also plus 2 this is also plus 2 you can find it easily you will get no2 is minus and so 6 minus here 4 minus so it should be plus 2 so both are plus 2 charge same central atom is same then uh, delta o delta sp delta t both are having 6 6 coordination number both are delta o only so 1 2 3 clash now i will check the fourth one so i understand no2 minus is a stronger ligand than nh3 this we should know so delta 1 is more than delta 2 so lambda absorbed 1 will be less than lambda absorbed 2 chamka bhaiya lambda proportional inversely to wavelength next thing i can tell you here see 
I'll tell you one very nice, beautiful explanation. You will like it a lot if you logically hear it and understand it. In NCRT one, uh, test tubes are some test tubes are given with some color. I'm telling you the color of those test test tubes and how to get it. This is green in color. This solution is green. When En is added, En is a didentate ligand, so En will come and two water have to go. Okay, bhai sab. Why? He is a didentate ligand, so when he will come. Two water, which are monodentate ligand, will go. So this will become pale blue in color. Next, one more en will come. So ni en hold twice. For that, two more H2O will go. Two more monodentate ligand will go. This becomes dark blue, or we can say purple in color. And finally, when one more en finally comes, all the water went away. This becomes violet in color. So what is the logical reason of getting this scenario? See the awesome beauty here, yar. Ethylene, ethylene diamine is a stronger ligand than water. We know it. En is a strong field ligand. Water is a weak field ligand. We know it very, very well. Now, draw the wagon. Concentrate completely, yar. If you are eating something in the middle, leave it. If you are talking to someone, don't talk at all. Just completely focus here. You will love the beauty of this explanation. So, if you have green color, that means this is the number one complex color. Then it is becoming blue, dark blue, and then violet. That means green, then something blue, then violet. That means second is coming here. This is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. So the first observed, first color observed is green. Second color, second complex observed color is pale blue. Something here. After that, dark blue, purple color is coming. That is something here. These are the observed color going on. And finally, you are getting the violet color. That means this is number four. Observed color is here. That means this is your direction of the observed color movement. So as the ligand is changing, as you are replacing the weak field ligand water with the strong field ligand En, this is what the color changes. Let us understand logically it is matching or not. So see, when the observed color was one. This would have been the absorbed color one. When it was two, this should have been the absorbed color two. When it was three, this somewhere here should have been the observed absorbed color three. When it was four, here somewhere should be the absorbed color four. That means the absorbed wavelength is going in this direction. Understand the beauty here properly, yar. So when we get this idea, you tell me this thing. Out of red and yellow, whose wavelength is more? So you will understand red has more wavelength than yellow. So let's forget the vegan for some time and let's logically think what should happen. देखो यार, if you are having the same central atom, same charge, same coordination number, point number one, two, three are same, then field of ligand decide delta. Who is the stronger ligand? En. So what you are doing? You are bringing a stronger ligand and removing the weaker ligand. है ना भाई? So when the stronger ligand comes, when the stronger ligand comes, delta must increase. If delta is increasing, if the SFL is becoming more and more stronger ligand is coming, delta will increase. Splitting energy will increase, and absorbed lambda will decrease. है ना भाई? When the stronger ligand will come, delta will increase, absorbed lambda will decrease. Let us see what is happening. In the first complex, when you had weak field ligand, this was absorbed lambda. In the second case, this was the absorbed lambda. In the third case, this was the absorbed lambda. And when all the strong field ligand came, this was the absorbed lambda. That means that means we are going in this direction. That means we are going from red to yellow. That means we are going from higher wavelength to lower wavelength. That means lambda absorbed is decreasing. That means exactly as expected. Understood, bhai sir. What happened? As the stronger ligand came, what will happen? Delta increased. As delta increased, absorbed wavelength decreased. So initially you absorbed very long wavelength. Now you are absorbing a smaller, smaller, smaller wavelength. That's why the color change is happening. Firstly, this color was absorbed. That's why you got the green color as the observed color. Then this color was absorbed. Then you got. This color like pale blue color. Then this color was absorbed. Then you got dark blue color. Then this color was absorbed. Then you got the final violet color. This is how NCERT has explained this brilliant topic in a very nice example. Now we will go to the stability of complexes. Stay tight. Hold tight.